Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today is May 11th, 2023, the day before The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom releases. I'm going to GameStop right now. It's going to open about in about 30 minutes at 12 p.m. because tonight they're doing a midnight launch of the game and I want to uh, reserve my copy of the Collector's Edition. So that's where I'm heading right now. It said each GameStop has a minimum of four Collector Editions, so I definitely want to go... They'll let me purchase it, but I can't pick it up till like 11 p.m. tonight because of the of the launch party that they're gonna do. So I'll be going to that later tonight as well. But welcome to the vlog, launch day vlog. We'll see how much cool Zelda stuff we can get today. Right down there's the GameStop guys. They open in like 30 minutes. Right now it's 11:27 p.m. And I don't see any line out there, so I'm not sure how many people know about this, but it's because I went last week, they told me to get here when the store opens if you wanna reserve a copy of the game. And then they'll hand you a ticket, and then you bring it at 11 p.m. to pick it up for the launch party. But we're here, we're waiting for the store to open, and then we'll see what happens when we get inside. I'm here at Walmart while I wait for GameStop to open. I'm gonna ask them how many collector's editions they have in case, in case I have to come here. The Lego Isle is here, looking good. I'm looking for the Disney minifigures, I don't see those. Here they have the spot for it. All right guys, in three minutes the store opens. We will be going inside to hopefully reserve our copy of the Collector's Edition. That's what the employees told me to do last week anyway, so hopefully that indeed works out like they said. And then tonight is when the launch party happens. Walmart had absolutely nothing. <laughs> or or they didn't have, uh, they had the barcode set up for the game, but the employee I talked to, she was new, so she had no idea how to look if they had the Collector's Edition for tomorrow or not. But anyways, yeah, we're going to go inside here in like two minutes. All right, guys, so GameStop was kind of weird. They, the person that was working there didn't even know if they received any uh, collector's edition copies. Yeah, they said maybe later today. They said I just have to show up for the launch party tonight, and hopefully I can get one. And it's not even first come, first serve. They said they're going to raffle it off, like it's going to be random. So if you somehow get the lucky number, you get to have one, which doesn't really make any sense to me. Because if you are the first one there, you should automatically be able, allowed to buy whatever you want. But now I'm here at Target uh, to see how many collector's editions they got for tomorrow. Um, in case I need to buy it here at Target instead of GameStop. But well, I guess we'll see how GameStop goes tonight. I'll just have to show up and see how it goes. But all right, go into Target. Well, guys, I'm leaving Target. They said they received over 200 copies of the game. It's a whole ton of collector's editions. All right, everyone, I'm here at the second GameStop. Let's see what they tell me about uh, the collector's edition and tonight's launch party for the game. I would definitely try and get in as soon as possible before 11 to try and get one of those creator bonuses. I was, I was wondering about the Zelda too, so how's that going to work tonight? 11 o'clock. Okay. I'm in. I'll have a bunch of pieces of papers with numbers on them. Okay. Then I'll use a random number generator. Okay. Right. Uh, are you guys doing like the amiibo and the pro controller then too? Did you guys get that? We got the amiibo. Okay. Um, pro controller, no. Okay. So, are you guys open all the way until 11, or is there a, a gap and then you guys open up again? Uh, I will be open all the way up till then, okay. just because there's no point in me closing Okay. It. So, what time do you recommend getting here? I don't know. Everything that's not the game will be up to random chance. So. Alright guys, that GameStop employee knew exactly what he was talking about. He was very friendly. He said he's already had so many calls about the game today. Basically, all GameStops, you have to show up at 11pm, and they're just going to raffle the collector's edition off. So if I get it, I'll get it. If I don't, uh, 
then I'll get it tomorrow morning at Target. But what I might do is just buy the game on its own tonight uh, at GameStop so I can get the review of the game out, and then I will get the collector's edition as well. So I'll have two copies of the game if I do that. But yeah, that was a great uh, GameStop employee, so shout out to him. He knew what he was talking about. Guys, while I wait for 11 p.m. to come to buy the Zelda game at GameStop, I'm just going for a little walk down this path that I found. Guys, it is evening time, and I'm outside GameStop. Uh, I went to Target, did a little bit of shopping there, and I don't know if you guys can see on the door, but what it says is the store actually is closed. It says Zelda at 11 p.m., so that's when you're allowed to buy the game, and they're doing a raffle at 10 p.m., so right now it's currently 9.20 p.m. I'm out here. The raffle will start at 10 p.m., so it's good that I got here a little bit early so I don't miss out on that raffle. I had no idea that they were going to start that at 10 p.m., so it's a good thing I showed up. As you can see, here is the time, and while we wait, here's something that we can do. I bought this from Target. It was the only one on the shelf. Disney 100-year anniversary uh, Lego collectible minifigures. So let's see which one I got. It's the only one on the shelf, so I, I didn't really have much of a choice, but we'll see which one I got here. All right, I have opened it up. Uh, let's see what I got here. I see the instruction booklet. Let's see. I'll dump it out here on the car seat. Looks like I got Pocahontas. One thing that's really cool about these Disney Lego collectible minifigures is they have a cool Disney 100 uh, print on the minifigure stand, so that's pretty cool. So I'm going to try to collect a lot of these, but here's the first one I got, Pocahontas. Uh, she has a really cool, I think it's a brand new hairpiece. Swooshes to the side like that, comes with a compass and some leaves. Here's a whole list of all the ones that you can get. So many cool ones. I really want Sorcerer Mickey and... Oswald the most. Yeah, there's a list of all of them. See, that was cool. We got our first Disney minifigure here. It's about 30 minutes until the raffle, guys. I'm not sure how it's going to look when the raffle starts, but as of right now, I'm the only one here, I think, for GameStop. Unless this person next to me is here for GameStop as well. There is no one else here for GameStop. So this might be uh, very easy to win one of the nine collector's editions that they have. Um, one of the other GameStops I went to told me that this store has nine collector's editions. I'm really just trying to get, hoping for is the collector's edition. That's what my main priority of getting it tonight um, is. But yeah, we have to wait 30 minutes until the raffle starts. But it'll be exciting. All right, guys, some employees just went into the store. So it looks like they're getting ready for the raffle in about 20 minutes. We have 20 minutes to go. They just let another employee in. So, so far there's three employees in there. I guess they're preparing for the worst. You never know how many people are going to show up. But I'm still, guys, literally 15 minutes to go, basically, until they start raffling off the collector's editions. And I am the only one here for GameStop, it seems. All these other cars are empty behind me that are parked. There's one next to me. They could be here for it. And other than that, there's very few people. And they supposedly have nine. So we should be able to get one, hopefully... I don't know why it's not first come, first serve. Wouldn't it make sense? Like, if I'm the second person here, uh, I get second pick at a collector's edition, and third person gets the third pick, and so on and so forth. But no, they're raffling it off instead, so it's up to chance, basically, and up to... It's a gamble. You never know what number is going to get picked. They're going to hand us a random number, and if your number gets called from the random number generator, you get to buy a collector's edition. So we'll see how it goes, guys. Wish me luck. 15 minutes left until we get to go inside and start the fun. So far, I'm still only seeing a few people parked in this whole parking lot. They probably all are here for Zelda. But another thing you have to take into consideration is how many of these people are, are wanting to buy the collector's edition, because that's $130. Some people might hear, uh, some people might be here only to buy the game itself, which is $70. So not everyone, uh, not everyone might not be bu buying the Zelda collector's edition like I am. I'm sure there's a lot of people who will be, but. We'll see how many people actually show up to this. Of course, you can't actually get the game until 11 p.m. So that that's about an hour and 10 minutes away from now. But in 10 minutes, they let us inside to start the raffle. So let's see how that goes. Guys, here we have a Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Snapchat filter showing a countdown right here. Only one hour and six minutes and two seconds left until the game comes out. Midnight EST here in America. Wow, guys, can you believe after all this time, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is getting a sequel? Tears of the Kingdom is out. 
very, very soon, guys. We've waited a long time for this, especially after the game getting delayed. It's going to be very exciting. One minute, guys, and we can go inside GameStop. I'm getting nervous, but this is really exciting. This is a huge, huge Nintendo Switch game. Let's have some fun with it. Now that I think about it, guys, a lot of people in this parking lot are probably here for this because not many of these other businesses are even open. There's Pasta Zola. They're not, they're not open either, but Vince, if you're watching this video, shout out to you. Anyways, guys, I think GameStop's the only business open in this parking lot. So yeah, a lot of the people out here are probably here for this. I guess they just parked farther away behind me, but anyways, it's 10 p.m. Any second now, we can be able to go inside. I think as long as product doesn't leave the store before 11, we're fine. Guys, right over there is the game stuff I was just in for nearly uh, an hour and a half. There's still a bunch of people in there. There's they had eight collector's editions. E each person who wanted one was given out a ticket. So there's 50 tickets and eight collector's editions. By the sixth number, mine was called my ticket, and I won the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Collector's Edition. Woo! Let's go! That was crazy. I was getting so nervous. I was like, are they going to call my number out of these 50 people? Otherwise, I'd have to get up tomorrow morning early to go to Target and hopefully get one. But guys, they called my number, and there's the Collector's Edition. Chilling here. I'm going to go home and box this, start playing the game. It's still 11 p.m., so it's technically May 11, not even launch day yet. But because they go off midnight time in Eastern, I was able to get this. I bought a bunch of other merch, too. Two Amiibos, Legend of Zelda shirt. Then I also got the two pre-order bonuses as well. I'll show that all in my video, so stay tuned for those. And I'll probably give you guys another look at this when we get home. But let's go. We won a collector's edition of the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Let's go. All right, everyone, I'm about to start filming the unboxing video for the collector's edition. Here's everything I got at GameStop. Got this wooden plaque that was free. Got this Link arm sleeve that was free, which is pretty cool. Got the brand new Tears of the Kingdom amiibo. Got the Twilight Princess amiibo that they reprinted, Nintendo did. And then I also bought this cool long sleeve shirt. It has Link and a horse on it, as well as uh, some cool logos on it on the sleeve. It has looks like the Master Sword. So that's pretty cool as well. I got that as well at GameStop. And of course, a few a few weeks ago, I got the Zelda OLED Switch with the golden Joy-Cons. Very cool. Time to unbox this. All right, everyone, it's officially May 12th. Last night at like 1 a.m., I filmed the Collector's Edition unboxing. It went wonderfully. It's so cool, and I played a little bit of the game. I'm excited to play it a bunch today. I'm now about to go to a bunch of different stores to see if I can find uh, the Tears of the Kingdom Pro Controller. And then as well, Target has some cool exclusive Amiibos as well. So I'm going to go check those out. Alright everybody, I got the Amiibo that I wanted to get from Target. They did not have the Pro Controller though. No Target stores near me have that. I don't know why they didn't get any of those in. But it is what it is. Uh, and thankfully I didn't have to come here this morning for the Collector's Edition because they told me that there was a huge line. So thankfully I got it at GameStop last night when I did. Unfortunately the Best Buy that's near me uh, permanently closed. So we're going to have to go to one a little bit farther away to see if they have any of the Pro Controllers. All right, everybody, we are here at Best Buy. Yeah, they don't have it, guys. But this carrying case is cool for any of you guys who need a new carrying case. That one has the art of the game on it. They usually make two different carrying cases, one with the game art on it, and then one just a design from the game. Yeah, Best Buy has at least the game in stock for anyone who needs just the game. I love the artwork down there as well. I 
wasn't all for nothing, guys. I at least got two lemonades and a Kit Kat for only 72 cents because I had a $5 reward I wanted to use. They said no Best Buys have the Pro Controller. It was only online only, so I saw a few that were only for order pickup that people ordered online. We're here in the Walmart Electronics. Let's see if they have any cool Zelda stuff like the Pro Controller. There's the game. So here's where it's supposed to be, guys. I'll ask them if they have any or if any other stores do. Well, guys, they had the price tag for it, but he didn't get any in today. I guess no stores got any of the Pro Controllers in. So that's kind of crazy, but... I have plenty of Pro Controllers anyways, I just thought it was kind of cool to maybe get that for a video, but maybe some other time I'll get it. Alright guys, I thought it would be fun for the vlog to check out this video game store for you guys. I'm not sure if they have any brand new Switch stuff, like the Zelda Pro Controller, but they have a lot of retro consoles in there, and other cool Nintendo goodies, so let's go check out the store. We like Mike. <laughs> Disney Infinity characters. Got some Lego in here. Ooh, they have the special edition of that game. Is that for sale? Look at all these Wii games. <laughs> Dogs. I'm going to ask how much that special edition is for that Zelda. That game store was pretty cool. They had that Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild special edition, which I would have gotten if it was much cheaper. It was going for like $400, so I was like, no, I don't need that. <laughs> but I did buy two Amiibos, because I love collecting Amiibos, especially sealed ones. So I bought this for 20 bucks. This is a Cat Mario Amiibo, especially after the Mario movie. This is pretty cool to have. And then I've always wanted a Yoshi Amiibo because he's my favorite Nintendo character. And they had him for sale out of the box for like 15 bucks. So now I own a Yoshi Amiibo. I'll be able to put him on my desk. And I think it's pretty cool because he's my favorite Nintendo character. So I just got two new Amiibos from that retro store. I hope you guys liked some of the footage I filmed in there. Showing some of the cool stuff. Definitely check what retro gaming stores you have nearby. And they probably can sell a lot of cool collectibles as well. Alright guys, so here's all the Amiibo I got. This is the brand new The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Amiibo that I got from GameStop, as you guys saw earlier. Then I got this from GameStop as well. And this is from Twilight Princess, so this is a reprinted Amiibo. Same with this one, which is from uh, The Wind Waker. But these are all cool, and these all can be used for this new Zelda game. You can scan them in and get different items and fabrics for your paraglider and things like that. If you guys if you guys want to see me uh, open this arm sleeve and put it on, it'll be in my launch day stream that I'm doing later today. So you guys can rewatch that. It'll already be out by the time this vlog comes out. All right, everyone in the vlog, I'm about to start filming another video, a gameplay video of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I wanted to do another gameplay video for this game because it's so big and so special of a game that I decided I should do it. If you guys wanted to see uh, what the... Zelda OLED Switch looks like. If I haven't shown you already, there you guys go. I have the background loaded up on there, so alright, time to film a video. I have also put on my Zelda shirt because it's Zelda Day, everybody, so I put on the shirt I bought last night at GameStop. I love the sleeves, especially on it. It has the Master Sword on it. So yeah, it's a pretty cool shirt. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
here at the gym, everyone, getting some shots in. Thank you all so much for watching my Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom launch day vlog. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you enjoy this game. I will see you all next time.